Hello and welcome to the E4M Talk Show. Our guest today is Atit Mehta, marketing head of EdTech startup Think and Learn Private Limited or Byjuice. From becoming India's most valued startup to expanding across the world to bagging big ticket sports sponsorship, Byjuice always remains in the news for some or other reason. We decided to speak to uh, the company's leadership to understand its strategy to take the FIFA, BCCI, and ICC sponsorship deals ahead, and also company's marketing strategy now. Welcome. To the show, Atit. Thank you, Kanchan. Thanks for having me. Uh, Atit, uh, in financial aid 2022, you, your company spent around 2200 crores in advertising. Will you rationalize it now or continue to advertise aggressively as ever? So see, marketing spends is a function of a lot of other things. It's not a straightforward number. And it, not only us, any advertiser, any big brand, you, when you are doing a new product launch, the budget requirement is higher. If you are doing a product enhancement, budget requirement is different. If you are targeting a new segment of consumers or you have expanded to, for example, over your tier two, tier three, you will require a different uh, budget. Uh, so looking at uh, as our plans over the next uh, nine to 12 months, depending upon what is the right optimized marketing one needs to do that will be that will determine the budget so budget is always a derivative and it's not the starting point last year couple of years back uh, the objective of the marketing team was different today the objective is different tomorrow the objective might be completely new and whatever is required higher or lower and that would be done because we are here to build a brand we are here to uh, provide uh, active learning or access to quality learning to everybody in the country. And we will continue that journey. And we have been doing it for the last five, seven years. And I have absolutely no doubt that why will we not do it as we go forward? Mm -hmm. So we do also have a relook at your FIFA, ICC and BCCI, this, especially since all these, you know, these, uh, I think we are going to cost you maybe around more than 100 million dollars yeah so like let's take one one thing at a time the fifa global partnership is for this particular world cup which is the 2022 qatar world cup yeah and extremely extremely proud to be the first indian brand to be on a global platform like fifa the next fifa world cup is in 2026 we are four years away so closer to time one would take a call and the 2026 World Cup, the FIFA World Cup is going to be held in US, Mexico and Canada. So over the next four years, there would be a lot of things which would be different from what we see right now and closer to time, we will take that call. So that's on FIFA. As far as BCCI is concerned, you would have read the news that we extended our partnership for front jersey principal sponsorship and the partnership continues. As far as ICC is concerned, and as you would be knowing, that they work in cycle. Even the ICC broadcast rights, which were closed three, four weeks back, they were in a slot of four years. One had the option to take eight years also. Most of the broadcasters opted for four. Same is the case with uh, brands. It's a four-year block. The four-year block ends in November 2023 after the 50 over World Cup, which is scheduled to be in India. So from that aspect, cricket is covered. FIFA happens once in four years. This year, FIFA is happening. 2026, we will we will take a clo uh, call closer to time. True. Um, so in terms of media mix, I mean, we have seen that by Jews has been you know top spender on TV, you know, among startups. So do you have any plans to focus on digital platforms, you know, which are cost effective and performance driven? And also because you are yourself in online, uh, you know, you offer online courses. No, we have, Kanchan, we have been doing that from day zero. Uh, while uh, one will always look at television and say that you are a big spender, you have the highest SOV, but 
once you start decoding the data, which is not available in a single measurement format, as Bach gives you TVGRPs and it's uniform and it can be compared, it's not available on digital. But if you look at it, digital has been so integral to everything which we do. So it's about the media mix is based on how your consumers are. If you're doing a retargeting campaign, the performance piece goes up. If you are doing a mass reach program, you will do mass reach across broadcast medium. So a digital mass reach is possible. TV mass reach is possible. If you are doing a hyper-local activity, for example, what we ended up doing as we started launching our uh, Baiju tuition center. So if I'm launching a tuition center in Mumbai and I have to target a four or five kilometer radius, digital uh, may work to a great extent. TV will not work because the spillover is so high. And then you look at local mediums like radio, or outdoor or something else. So again, depending upon what's your brand business objective, the media mix gets defined. But having said that, digital has been integrated or is a very, very integral part of every marketing initiative which we do. It's not about TV or digital. It is how are we able to reach out to our audiences how do we maximize reach at an optimized frequency at the right cost? Where do we see the growth now? I mean, within India and also you know across the world. Which part of the world you are looking to go to? In terms of our group or overall uh, media? No, growth. I'm talking in terms of growth of Baiju's in general. No, so um, it, it, India, we have been there for the last uh, 10, 12 years, 12 years. This November, we'll celebrate our 12th anniversary. As far advertising perspective, we, we broke our first advertising in 2015. So it's been seven years. The growth story continues. Uh, and that that is our uh, core business. And we will uh, keep on building the core uh, as we go forward. We have business operations in LATAM. We have business operations in US. We have business operation in Middle East. Again, all these markets and the products which are available in those markets are at a different life cycle. The product life cycle is different for different, different markets. And whatever needs to be done to uh, uh, grow a particular market or a particular brand in that market, that support will be always there and we will put in the capital, we will put in the resources, we will be putting engineering and tech and the talent to make it as big as a success what India has seen. What are your marketing and advertising plans for financial year 2023 that is ongoing? And also, do you have any festival plans as well like most of the consumer FMCG companies have? Yeah, so the beauty, I'll, I'll try to answer the second question first. The beauty of education is it's round the year. There is no seasonality. I, I don't have a big billion day sale or the Amazon great uh, advert or consumption festival, or I'm not a white good or a car where I'll give uh, massive discounts if you book on the Sera and so on and so forth. So education is round the year uh, uh, category because we all talk as parents, education is such an integral part of our daily discussions. Yeah, so there is no seasonality, seasonality from an education perspective. Of course, there are some spikes, but we'll see when it's start of exam, exam gets over, and especially in exam prep, when you have the engineering entrance or a medical entrance, those are the times when student enroll for one year. So there are like three or four weeks of spikes, but there is no seasonality in education. And as for marketing plans, 2022, 2023 is concerned. Uh, it is also based, a lot of work is happening right now as we speak. It's a bit premature for me to talk about that. What are the new things we are launching? What, what new products we are bringing into the market? But yeah, as in when uh, the products are GTM ready, uh, appropriate level of uh, marketing uh, muscle will be put behind it, appropriate level of advertising will be created and media mix would be selected and you will see a, a great amount of excitement as we go forward. Thank you so much, Atit, for talking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.